Welcome back to AM 590, 99.7 on your FM dial and everywhere at NewsRadioKLBJ.com. Let's give them the business. It's brought to you by Pinballs. That's Pinballs with a Z. Pinballs.com. Just one day after fans at DKR Stadium cost the University of Texas a quarter of a million dollars after they threw a bunch of trash on the field, an issue with fans at another local venue has led to another big fine. Sunday, the spectators at the Circuit of the Americas, they got onto the track and some of the cars were still finishing up their cool-down lap. Fans are allowed in the podium area once all the cars have stopped, but as many as 200 reportedly descended upon the track prematurely. In response, the governing body of the Formula One racing has fined Coda $550,000. Austin-based Tesla is facing another lawsuit, this time from a movie production company that is claiming copyright infringement. Earlier this month, during an unveiling of the new Tesla robo-taxi, CEO Elon Musk he made a reference to the movie Blade Runner while referencing sci-fi movies, and he showed a photo of a bleak, dystopian cityscape while doing so, and that was a problem. So, you know, like... I love Blade Runner, but uh, I don't know if we want that future. And now Alcon Entertainment is claiming he used AI to rip off the promotional photo from their 2017 movie Blade Runner 2049. And along with that, the company is calling out Musk himself, saying he doesn't align with the company's value or social beliefs. It is 553. Texas is becoming a hot spot for businesses to relocate. But according to a new CBRE report, I mean, it shows three of the top five markets that gained headquarters between 2018 and 2023, they all belong right here in the Lone Star State. As we hear from reporter Julie Heinen. Texas is becoming a hot spot for businesses to relocate to. It really has in the past few years here. And so if you look at this from 2018 to 2023, according to CBRE, they look nationwide at the, num at the cities and the number of corporate headquarters that they were attracting. Austin was number one here. We know how popular that's gotten. It saw a huge boom in real estate that now is seeing a little bit of fallout. Dallas as well in Houston. So the top three cities, cities in Texas. Then you see Nashville and Denver. This, Denver. this doesn't necessarily mean that there has been a population that's followed these headquarters. In some cases, it's just sort of certain executives that are based there in Texas and the rest of the workforce might remain elsewhere. But nonetheless, it definitely has been a trend here. The latest news is that there is a Texas stock exchange that's in the works that's getting some big backers from the likes of BlackRock and Citadel. So that's just sort of the latest headline grabber uh, of what's happening in Texas. That is Julie Heinen reporting. Now, over the last 12 months, Texas has had a faster rate of job growth in the rest of the nation based on the July employment data released by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Texas set records for the number of residents working and the overall size of the Texas labor force. During the past year, Texas reached the highest labor force ever with 15.3 million with growth of nearly 250,000. It is 5.55. Now stay close. We've got traffic, your forecast, the day's top stories. We'll have the very latest on that train derailment this morning in downtown Austin. Uh, that's coming up. The Todd and Oz Show is next. The Todd and Oz Show.